Hello guys and welcome again to Dance Nation. Today is a special day because today is Halloween. So we are going to show you how people celebrate Halloween in other countries. Some interesting facts about this holiday, about its history and some of the best Halloween movies. <laughs> But let's start with a scientific view of how humans end up making this date something special. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. Let me present you for the first time the dance science section of the channel. Today I am going to talk to you about how ancient cultures understood some astronomy events and how it was related to the holiday we know as Halloween. Come with me. Most of the cultures have celebrations that take place in autumn. For example, Aztecs used to honor the dead with human sacrifices. In the meanwhile, in Japan there is an old tradition which consists in hanging lanterns for the dead family. Anyways, it seems that all autumnal celebrations are related to the dead. But why? Well, we have to go back in time to the ancient times to find the answer. Remember that around the Middle Ages, people used to think different about the Earth. Actually, this is how people thought the Earth moved. With the sun and moon around it. The point when the sun dips down the lowest is known as autumnal equinox. Halloween marks the point between autumnal equinox and the winter solstice. These are the days when the crops ripen and the world gets darker and cooler. This time of the year was seen as a period of fear and dread. But the tradition of Halloween might have started with the celebration of the Pleiades, a bright group of stars that reached their highest point at the midnight of November the 1st. The Druids used to believe that at midnight the veil between our world and the world of dead was so thin that souls could come back just for that night, and they celebrated this day because of it. Also the appearance of the pumpkin yellow star Arcturus marked the season of Halloween. Arcturus rises in the sky just after the sun sets, it is a red giant star that will eventually explode and turn into a giant supernova. In a champagne supernova in the sky No, no, that supernova And finally guys, I want to show you what you can see on Halloween's night if you like astronomy and you want to see some constellations or stars or even a planet The view that you're watching right now is what you will be able to see from Colombia But, we can also see what people in Los Angeles can see tonight. You can spot the cardinal points in the map and the hours so you don't miss anything in the astronomical Halloween night. This is the view from Tokyo. You can see, all over the world we can see almost the same, almost. Some planets like Neptune, Uranus and some constellations like Terus and Aries. And this is what people can see from Sydney. As you can notice, you get a different perspective and a different angle of view depending on the city that you're looking to the sky. So now you know how does the sky look like from different places on Earth in the Halloween night.
Today, in the section of dance culture, I'm going to tell you the real origins of the All Hallows Eve, mostly known as Halloween. So let's go back 2000 years ago to the area that is now Ireland, the United Kingdom and the Northern France, specifically to an ancient Celtic festival called Samhain, celebrated on November 1st as the beginning of a new year. This day marked the end of summer and the harvest and the beginning of the dark cold winter. Winter is coming. Winter is coming! It doesn't appear to be going anywhere. And winter is coming! Winter is coming. Mm -hmm. A time of year that was often associated with human death. And the Celts believe that on the night before the new year, the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurred. And on the night of October 31, they celebrated sowing when it was believed that the ghost of the dead returned to earth. In addition to causing trouble and damaging crops, the Celts thought that the presence of the otherworldly spirits made it easier for the Druids or Celtic priests to make predictions about the future. And for a people entirely dependent of the natural world, these prophecies were an important sort of comfort and direction during the long, dark winter. To commemorate the event, Druids built huge sacred bonfires, where the people gathered to burn crops and animal as sacrifices to the cultic deities. During the celebration, the Celts wore customs typically consisting of animal heads and skins, and attempt to tell each other fortunes. Howdy, duty. <laughs> That's funny, huh. yeah. You know, you're the funniest man here in a pink bunny costume his wife made him wear. <laughs> relax, man, relax. You're looking a little flushed. When the celebration was over, they relit their hearts, fires, which they had extinguished earlier that evening from the sacred bonfire to help protect them during the coming winter. And finally, on the 19th century, the Irish traveled to America and spread this tradition that would evolve through ages until become the classic celebration of Halloween today. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to run, right? <laughs> okay, I'm ready, I'm ready! Help, help! Oh, now I'm gonna fall and break my leg, leaving me helpless. Hello everyone, probably all of you know how Halloween is celebrated traditionally. People dress up with costumes, children in the neighborhood playing trick or treat, sweets, many jack-o'-lanterns and horrifying symbols everywhere, etc. This is the North American version, but around the world there are many other celebrations, rites and activities in this special time of the year and today I will tell you some of the most interesting. Okay, I will start with Transylvania in Romania because in this place the legend of Dracula was born. In Halloween you can go to a Dracula tours and visit places like Bran Castle or Dracula Castle where the Irish writer Bran Stoker set this famous novel. Hundyard Castle or Rowing Castle where Vlad III, the Impaler, was imprisoned. Afterwards, you can enjoy an spectacular thematic party in the walled city of Sykesora. Salem in Massachusetts, United States, its other important place for the witchcraft and the judgments and death of people who supposedly practiced it many years ago. You can visit all the places that are, that are part of the story, like Wax Museum and Salem Witch Museum. Then you can participate in witch parades and customs. Obviously, we mustn't forget the country when Halloween originated, and this is Ireland. There, Halloween is a very special time, and some events are Brand Stoker Festival, Yes, the writer of Dracula mentioned previously, and Sam Hyde Halloween Festival, that is the biggest and most important festival in Dublin. In French, Halloween isn't very common, 
but you can visit the catacombs under Paris. Okay, this place is a huge labyrinthine cemetery decorated with millions and millions of real bones and skulls. In Bogota, children can play the famous trick or treat in the main shopping center of the city, and adults, on the other hand, can go to costume parties in nightclubs and bars, or go to guided tours in downtown and other interesting places like cemeteries and haunted houses in La Candelaria. In Germany, you can visit the Frankenstein Castle, close to Frankfurt. In Mexico and other Central American countries, people celebrate the Day of the Dead one or two days after Halloween. In some Asiatic countries, people burn money and fruit for us so they can ascend to the spirit world. Also, they illuminate the streets with traditional lanterns to guide the path of the spirits. Okay guys, it is also important to say that some countries like Italy and other religious countries don't celebrate Halloween. However, there are other great variety of countries and places where you can enjoy this festivity. Okay, happy Halloween and remember, every place is an adventure. Hi everyone, it's Nicholas and welcome to Dance Movies. This week the topic of the video is Halloween, so I decided to talk about two horror movies. Bring your popcorn and don't be scared. The first movie of today is The Exorcist. It is a horror movie of 1973 based in the anonymous book of William Peter Blatty. Blatty based his story in a real case happened in 1949 when he is still studying at college. In that case, the possessed one was a 14 years old boy who changed his personality multiple times. He was submitted to three different exorcisms. The story of the movie is about the possession of a 12 year old girl called Regan McNeil and her curious and horrifying exorcism. This movie has been signed as a cursed movie because multiple incidents were present along its history. For example, the fire with no origin in a set, the poltergeist of objects in the different sets, incidents with the staff and the death of the actor Jack McGowan when he was shooting the last scenes of the film. Also, when the movie was shot at theaters, some people died in the middle of the show. That's terrifying. And talking about poltergeist, this movie is the second of the day. Poltergeist is a horror movie saga from 1982 to 1990. This movie is directed by Top Hopper and it is about the mysterious events that happen to a family in a house of the suburbs. The girl is the one who can communicate with the spirits and the terrifying stuff. This movie is rounded of tragedy and um, that's the reason to say that the movie is cursed. In the season of the clown, the actor who played Robbie was actually in danger of death because of the suffocation. After the shooting of the film, the actress Dominic Dune, who played Dana, was mur murdered by her boyfriend. The actor Julian Beck died in 1985 because of stomach cancer. And the actor Will Sampson died in 1987 because of complication on a heart surgery. But the most famous case of the poltergeist curse is the death of the girl, Heather O'Rourke, at 12 in 1988 because of intestinal stenosis. And well, this is the end of... Guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe, it's free.